Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and today we are going to be looking at the supplementary emerald tablet number 14. So there is no title to this because it's just a supplementary emerald tablet. If you remember back from the beginning when we first started talking about the emerald tablets, there was still some stuff that was assumed to be missing from this work. So we're nearing towards the end. We have supplementary tablet 14 and supplementary tablet number 15, and then we're done. So um, FYI, don't forget to and to join us um, this morning at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Time um, over on the channel Aquarius Rising Africa. A link to that channel will be down in the description box below. Please make sure to join us for a live discussion as we do every Monday over these Emerald Tablets. I always like to put my readings up first on my channel a couple of hours before so that our friends who join us for the live discussion can listen, at least listen to the reading in order to be able to join in on the live chat. Also, I've had people request to put the Emerald Tablets in their own playlist, which I do plan on doing eventually. That's just, it's a lot of work to go through my channel and reorganize all of that. And so at this point, I'm, I'm just, it's just a time. It's just having the time to do that. But I will tell you that as of now, every single past episode from the Emerald Tablets, there's a link to every past episode down in the description box below. So if you are watching this, especially for the first time, welcome, I'm so glad you're here. Or if you want to go back and review some of the past tablets, right in that description box below. I know for some people, this is a little bit confusing. You'll see the description box below beneath the video on YouTube. Now, with the description box, if you click on anybody's channel, that description box, it's only going to show like the first line or two. So you have to hit the show more button or the down arrow, depending on which device you're on, whether you're on your laptop or on your cell phone. And even then on some devices, after you hit the show more button, you might have to go and hit another show more button, depending on how much is in the description box is how much that YouTube will pull up for you. And of course, because we've done a lot of past episodes over the Emerald Tablets, they're probably going to be, it's going to be a longer description box. But again, all of the past episodes are down in the description box for now and will be down in the description box of any of these videos, as, even up to the point where we do create a, its own playlist. So anyway, guys, so let's start talking about the supplementary Emerald Tablet number 14. Teen. Now, once again, a very special thank you to all of our patrons and our producers here on Esoteric Atlanta. Without you guys, we certainly would not be able to do what we do. If you would like to join our Patreon and our producer community, there is a link in the description box below. And as always, a very, very big thank you to our sponsors, ASEA. ASEA is a redox supplement. This means that it is a supplement that helps your cells signal to each other or communicate with each other. So for anything that the body goes through, any, any type of aging process, any type of injury or sickness, the body's going to have to signal. And as we get older, our body does run out of redox. And so by taking the ASEA, which ASEA is the only company under the FDA guidelines that has the formula for this redox, by doing this supplement, you are giving your body a second chance at youth. I have been on ASEA now for quite a number of months and it has absolutely changed my life. If you would like more information on ASEA, what ASEA can do for you or better price pointing for ASEA, then please text Bryce Info to 321-216-8047. Again, that's Bryce Info to 321-216-8047. All that information will, as always, also be in the description box below. All right, supplementary emerald tablets number 14. List you man to the deep hidden wisdom, lost to the world since the time of the dwellers, lost and forgotten by the men of this age. Know ye this earth is but a portal, guarded by powers unknown to man. Yet the dark lords hide the entrance that leads to the heaven-born land. Know ye the way to the sphere of Arula is guarded by barriers, open only 
to light born man. Upon earth, I am the holder of the keys to the gates of the sacred land. Commanded I by the powers beyond me to leave the keys to the world of man. Before I depart, I give you the secrets of how ye may rise from the bondage of darkness. Cast off the fetters of flesh that have bound ye. Rise from the darkness into the light. Now, again, if you are just joining this, I would absolutely recommend going back and re-listening to all the previous tablets or buying a copy of the Emerald tablets yourself. So you have your own copy. As always, there will also be an Amazon link down in the description box below where in under the category books used on the show, I have a list of all the books that we've used on the show. So you get your copy of the Emerald tablets from that. But we know throughout these Emerald tablets, he has spoken about shadow work. And that's what that is, the feather, the fetters of bondage, the fetters of the flesh that is your shadow work. I also want to comment here because um, I am quite familiar with some of the other uh, indigenous practices of, of our world, like voodoo, um, being from the southeast. That's very common down here. And I'm looking upon this quote saying, upon the earth, I am the holder of the keys from the gates of the sacred land. That sounds a lot like Papa Legba to me. If you guys are familiar with any of the indigenous African faiths, that sounds very much like Papa Legba. Um, and so uh, if you're familiar with Papa Legba, I'd love to hear your thoughts and your opinions down in the comment section below regarding that. We know that throughout all of these different faiths, we know that Thoth, the, the energy of Thoth, the, the persona of Thoth is, is talked about in many different uh, cultures. Like we know that he is Odin for the Vikings or Hermes. Um, and so I'd be interested to know if, if for those who are familiar with voodoo, if that sounds like Papa Legba to you too. All right, so let me let me read that verse again. Upon earth, I am the holder of keys to the gates of the sacred land. Commanded I by the powers beyond me to leave the keys to the world of man. Before I depart, I give the secrets of how ye may rise from the bondage of darkness, cast off the feathers of flesh that have bound ye, rise from the darkness into the light. Know ye the soul must be cleansed of its darkness, ere ye may enter into the portals of light. Thus I establish among ye the mysteries, so that the secrets may always be found. I, though man may fall into darkness, always the light will shine as a guide. Hidden in darkness, veiled in symbols, always the way to the portal will be found. Man in the future will deny the mysteries, but always the way the seeker will find. Yes! We see this, right? Like my friend Hillis says that we're not here in the Great Awakening. We're here in the Great Remembering. <laughs> we know, we know that the controllers of this world have tried to deny us the knowledge. They practice censorship. Y'all, nowhere in history, nowhere in history have the people doing the censoring been the good guys. <laughs> nowhere have the people doing the censoring been the good guys you know and like the church is the biggest of them all the church basically censored all of the real books and gave us a fake book that has a copyright on it that's still owned by the royal family so yeah these mysteries these alchemical principles you know we talk a lot about like the colonization of christianity but we have to remember and i think sometimes we have this perception that it's like the white people who have done all these co the colonizing right which is true but in order for the white people to start colonizing guess what my friends they had to be colonized first so we're looking at the druids the celtic people the K uh, kentuckian these were all ancient mysteries. There were mystery schools. They, this was a beautiful alchemical spiritual faith that even the white people practice that mirrors that of the Egyptian alchemy, of the Indian alchemy, all these alchemies, but yet they got that taken away from them first before they then started to have to go push this new belief system onto the greater world, which takes the power away from you and puts it into the hands of someone else, like a priest or a preacher. And so, yeah, so these mysteries were forgotten because they were forced to be forgotten. We were forced into that darkness. And now the seekers will always find. So he says, man in the future will deny the mysteries, but always the way the seekers will find. The people who are seeking this, like myself, like you watching right now, before I was on YouTube, I went off to India seeking these truths, right? Because something ain't right, right? We know, like we go about the world and we're like, this shit does, it's not adding up. None of this stuff they taught us at vacation Bible school is 
adding up, right? So we go on a, a quest for deeper knowledge and we find it. And so we start to understand the ways to get rid of bondage, which is actually all of this stuff. If you were, if you joined us for the missing books of the Bible, when we were going through the missing books of the Bible. This is all what Yeshua taught as well. So they call him Jesus now. That wasn't his name. Yeshua, this is what he taught. He taught the exact same thing in here that Thoth is teaching. And there is theory that Thoth was potentially Yeshua's teacher and Magdalene's teacher. So anyway, it's 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 fascinating. It's one of the it's the greatest stories to ever be told, right? Now I command ye to maintain my secrets, giving only to those who ye have tested, so that the pure may not be corrupted, so that the power of truth may prevail. List ye now to the unveiling of mystery. List to the symbols of mystery I give. Make of it a religion, for only thus will its essence remain. Regions there are too between this life and the great one, traveled by the souls who depart from this earth. Duat, the home of the powers of illusion. So we call that Maya in um, Sanskrit. And the, the yoga, it's Maya, is illusion. The, the illusion that we live in or maybe better word for it would be delusion that we live in. So he's saying duet is the home of the powers of illusion. Shiket, Hipspet, the house of the gods. Osiris, the symbol of the guard of the portal who turned back the souls of unworthy men. Beyond lies the spears of the heaven-born powers, Arula, the land where the great ones have passed. There, when my work among men has been finished, will I join the great ones of my ancient home. Seven are the mansions of the house of the mighty. Three guard the portals of each house from its darkness. Fifteen the ways that lead to duet. Twelve are the houses of the lords of illusion. Facing four ways, each of them different. Forty and two are the great powers. Judging the dead who seek for the portals. Four are the sons of Horus. Two are the guards of east and west. Isis the mother who pleads for her children. Queen of the moon reflecting the sun. Ba is the essence living forever. Ka is the shadow that man knows his life. Ba cometh not until Ka is incarnate. These are the mysteries to preserve through the ages. Keys are they of life and death. Hear ye now the mystery of mysteries. Learn of the circle, beginning less and endless, the form of he who is one and in all. Listen and hear it. Go forth and apply it. Thus will ye travel the way that I go, mystery and mystery. Yet clean to the light born, the secrets of all now I will reveal. I will declare a secret to the initiated, but let the door be wholly shut against the profane. There is a mystery come from the great one here and light on thee will dwell. In the primeval dwell three unities. Other than these, none can exist. These are the equilibrium, source of creation, one God, one truth, one point of freedom. Three come forth from three of balance, all life, all good, all power. Three are the qualities of God in his light home, infinite power, infinite wisdom, infinite love. Three are the powers given to the masters to transmute evil, assist good, use discrimination. Three are things inevitable for God to perform, manifest power, wisdom, and love. Three are the powers creating all things, divine love possessed of perfect knowledge, divine wisdom knowing of all possible means, divine power possessed by the joint will of divine love and wisdom. Three are the circles or states of existence, the circle of light where dwells nothing but God and only God can transverse it. The circle of chaos, where all things by nature arise from death. The circle of awareness, where all things spring from life. And if you've been on this channel for a very long time, this is probably giving you some goosebumps because this is mirroring everything we've talked about when it comes to the Shiva and the Shakti. The Shiva being the spirit, the essence of soul, the Shakti being the expression of that soul through the chaos of nature. It's all the same, right? They use different words to describe different things. Like they have different vocabulary words for these things, but they're all the same. All the same. All things innate are of three states of existence, chaos or death, liberty and humanity and felicity of heaven. Three necessities control all things, beginning in the great deep, the circle of chaos, pentalude in heaven. Three are the paths of the soul, man, liberty, light. Three are the 
hindrance, lack of endeavor to obtain knowledge, non-attachment to God, attachment to evil. In man, the three are manifest. There are the kings of power within. There are the chambers of the mysteries found yet not found in the body of man. You hold all the mysteries in your Shakti because your Shakti, your nature, is the expression of your soul. Hear ye now of he who is liberated, free from the bondage of life into light. Knowing the source of all worlds shall be open. I, even the gates of Arula, shall not be barred. Yet heed, O man, who wouldst enter heaven, if ye not be worthy. Better it be to fall into fire. Know ye the celestials pass through the pure flame. At every revelation of the heavens, they bathe in the fountains of light. So throughout these tablets, he's referred to the soul as what? A flame, a fire. List ye, O man, to this mystery. Long in the past, before you were man born, I dwelled in ancient Atlantis. There in the temple, I drank of the wisdom poured as a fountain of light from the dweller. Give the key to ascend to the presence of light in the great world. Stood I before the Holy One, enthroned in the flower of fire. Veiled was he by the, by the lightning of darkness, else my soul by the glory have been shattered. Forth from the feet of his throne, like the diamond, rolled forth four rivers of flame from his footstool, rolled through the channels of clouds to the man world. Filled was the hall with spirits of heaven. Wonder of wonders was the starry palace above the sky. Like a rainbow of fire and sunlight were formed the spirits, sang, th sang they the glories of the Holy One. Then from the midst of the fire came a voice, Behold the glory of the first cause. I beheld the light high above all darkness, reflecting in my own being. I attained it as were to the God of gods, the spirit sun, the sovereign of the sun spheres. In the first cause we talked about in past tablets, that was the idea of the creation, the first cause, the cause and the effect, the karma of action, reaction. With every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction because there was a cause, because there was a ripple of thought within consciousness, within the Shiva, there then became the effect of the Shakti, of the chaos of nature. And thus the journey of man began. Again came the voice, there is one, even the first, who hath no beginning, who hath no end, who hath made all things, who govern all, who is good, who is just, who illuminates, who sustains. Then from the throne there poured a great radiance, surrounding and lifting my soul by its power. Swiftly I moved through the spaces of heaven. Shown was I the mystery of mysteries. Shown the secret heart of the cosmos. Carried was I to the land of Arula. Stood before the lords in their houses. Opened they the doorway. So I might glimpse the primeval chaos. Shuddered my soul to the vision of horror. Shrank back my soul from the ocean of darkness. Then saw I the need for the barriers. Saw, saw I the need for the lords of Arula. Only they with their infinite balance could stand in the way of the inpouring chaos. Only they could guard God's creation. Then did I pass round the circle of eight, saw all the souls who had conquered the darkness, saw the splendor of light where they dwelt. Longed I to take my place in their circle, but longed I also for the way I had chosen, where I stood in the halls of Amente, to make my choice to, to the work I would do. Passed I from the halls of Arula down to the earth's space where my body lay. Arose I from the earth where I rested, stood I before the dweller, gave my pledge to renounce my great right until my work on earth was complete, until the age of darkness be past. And that the age of darkness be past, let's again go back to the very first tablet and read the very first verse. I thought the Atlantean, master of mysteries, keeper of records, mighty king, magician, living from generation to generation, being about to pass into the halls of Amente, sit down the guidance for those who are to come after. That's us. These great records of mighty wisdom of Atlantis. So once again, he's reminding you. You're it, boo. You're the superstar. You watching right now. Old thought he thought he wrote these tablets for you. Because the age of darkness is now passing. So he held on to these tablets. He wrote them for us. 
because now we're here. We're at that moment where we move away from the age of darkness into the age of light, the age of Aquarius. Right. List your man to the words I shall give thee. In them shall ye find the essence of life. Before I return to the halls of Amente, taught shall ye be the secrets of secrets. Know ye too may arise to the light. Preserve them and guard them. Hide them in symbols so profane with laugh and renounce in every land from ye the mysteries. Make the way hard for the secret to, tre to tread. Thus will the weak and the wavering be rejected. That just gave me chill bumps. Why? Because this is the initiate's path. Everybody thinks spirituality is about rainbows and unicorns and light and love. And my friends, I'm here to tell you, it is not. Spirituality, the path of the initiate, is one of the hardest fucking things you will ever do. I know I've been doing it. I've been doing it for years before I was ever on YouTube. It is a train wreck. It is a shit show. And you have to keep going. Even if it's just picking one foot up slowly after the other, you have to keep going because everything within the shadow work, as Thoth has talked about in the previous tablets, the fetters that bind you, your bondage is you. Surprise! You're the demon. You are fighting a battle against yourself, against your own bondage. And only you, the good news is, only you can free yourself. The etymology of the word savior means one who saves himself. And those who aren't will willing to do the work, well, they won't make it this life. They'll have to just keep going until they decide to actually keep going and do the work. All right. Thus will the secrets be hidden in garden, held till time when the wheel shall be turned through the dark ages, waiting and watching. My spirit shall remain in the deep hidden land when one has passed all the trials of the outer. Summon ye, ye me by the key that ye hold. Then will I, the initiator, answer. Come from the halls of God in Amente. Then will I receive the initiate. Give him the power of words. Harki. Remember these words of warning. Bring not to me one lacking in wisdom, impure in heart, or weak in his purpose. Else I will withdraw from ye your power to summon me from the place of my sleeping. Only those who are willing to actually do the work are going to be granted the information. Go forth and conquer the element of darkness. Exalt in thy nature thine essence of light. Now go ye forth and summon thy brothers, so that I may impart the wisdom to light thy path when my presence is gone. Come to the chambers beneath my temple. Eat not food until three days are past. Y'all, I was sitting here thinking about the old mystery schools, like as I was reading this, and I was thinking about all the stuff we've lost in these mystery schools that we know existed all throughout all cultures. And my God, you guys, we covered the Elysian mysteries on this channel. I will link that down below, baby. Better believe, darling, that will be linked below. What did they do in the Elysian mystery schools? They fasted for three days and then they drank peyote. And they went into a tunnel and they went on whatever journey they had to go on within their own dark night of the soul where they were in sensory deprivation. So we have that today. We have these sensory deprivation chambers that people can go in and it helps you focus on you. That is why, my friends, if you are going to a yoga class and they're playing music, it's not a yoga class, right? We love music on this channel. I'm a hardcore rock and roll girl. I've seen every band in concert. However, when you are doing your practice, you should have nothing that's going to entice your senses beyond the work in which you are doing. This is very clear in all the ancient yoga scripture. And now it's even clearer in this. So turn that fucking music off. Get within yourself. Do the work. All right. So again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link the mystery schools, the Elysian school in the description box below because holy shit. Wow. That is reminds me a lot of the Elysian Mystery School. So let me read that again. Now go ye forth and summon thy brother so that I may impart the wisdom to light thy path when my presence is gone. Come to the chambers beneath my temple. 
sensory deprivation. We're going underneath ground to get away from any type of, of, of sensory enticement. We're going to deprive the senses so that we can actually work on, uh, on us. That's why in a lot of ayahuasca ceremonies, you go out in the middle of nowhere and you do the damn thing at night so that there is nothing to distract you. All right. Come to the chamber beneath my temple. Eat not food until three days are past. There I will give thee the essence of wisdom, so that with power ye may shine amongst men. There will I give thee unto the secret, so that ye too may rise to the heavens. God, men, and truth are in essence ye be. Depart now and leave me while I summon those ye know, but as ye know not. So let's just go ahead and finish this bad boy up because the last supplementary uh, Emerald Tablet is 15, The Secret of Secrets. It's not that long. And so I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up here for you guys. Now, before we do that, though, I do want to take a brief moment again to thank our sponsors, ASEA. Without ASEA, this video would not be possible. So thank you so much to ASEA. And with that being said, we're going to take a brief moment to hear from our sponsors. And so I'll see you on the flip side. My Uncle Dan used to talk about QTR. QTR meant for him quality time remaining. My Uncle Dan was a very active cyclist and a very avid hiker. And after he retired, after a long career, he decided that he really wanted to make the most of the years he had left where there was quality to his life before the aging process really limited his ability to enjoy things like cycling and hiking. Unfortunately, my Uncle Dan did lose his battle to cancer back in 2019, but when I was first introduced to the ASEA product, all I kept thinking about was my Uncle Dan and his concoction post-retirement of quality time remaining. As human beings, we've been taught that as our body starts to age, we eventually have to start giving up some of the activities that we enjoyed. For my uncle, that was cycling and hiking. With the ASEA supplement, what this product does is it restores signaling back into the body. Signaling, our communication between the cells of the body, is what actually allows the aging process to happen. Your body is designed by nature, by God, whatever you want to call that higher consciousness, it's designed to heal itself. That's why the cells communicate. That's why you have an immune system. But unfortunately, as we become conditioned to the toxins of this world, that immune system and that signaling system start to wear down. When our body loses signaling, that's what causes wrinkles. That's what causes cellulite. That's what causes the hair to gray. And for men, that's potentially what causes hair loss. As Dr. Silverman has used as an example, when we are a child and we fall off of our bicycle and skin our knees, our recovery time is pretty quick. This is because we have an abundance of redox or signaling in our bodies. But after puberty and into our adulthood, we rapidly start to lose this signaling. So if we were to fall off a bike at 80, that could mean life or death. Now for me, since I've been on the SIA now for about three months, I have noticed a tremendous amount of energy and endurance restored back to my life. As you guys all know, I am an avid exerciser. I truly believe in the power of a good sweat. And since starting the ASEA, I have noticed that my recovery time between workouts and my endurance within workouts has enhanced immensely. I'm able to go longer and harder. I've also noticed, as many of you guys have commented in the comment section, I feel like I'm getting younger or at least looking younger. No, my age keeps going up, but I look back and compare my videos now to the videos I did when I first started YouTube and I feel like I look younger now than I did then. And I do have to say that is most likely because of the ASEA. When I talked to my mother about this product, I mentioned the quality time remaining that my uncle Dan used to speak of and how with the ASEA for her as a grandmother, this product can give her the potential to have a lot longer quality time of playing in the backyard with her grandchildren. 
In fact, so many amazing, incredible stories can be found in comment sections of this video and on Asiya's own YouTube channel, which I will place down in the description box below. Now, we can't make any medical claims with this product as it is just a supplement. But from my perspective and from all of the um, perspectives and experiences I've read from you guys, this product has done nothing but enhance every single person's life, every single person's quality time remaining, whether that be 50 years or 10 years. We see a lot of people talk about med beds, this idea of med beds. Everybody's waiting for a med bed. But what if I told you, in my opinion, the med bed is already here. With the ASEA, what it comes with, each liquid, it's a liquid, each liquid comes with its own shot glass. The shot glass is about two ounces. Each person is instructed to take between four and eight ounces a day. You take a little shot of the ASEA, you swish it around for 30 to 60 seconds so that you allow the saliva to carry the redox where it wants to carry it, and then you swallow the rest. The redox is so genius, and the creators of this product are so genius genius that in my opinion they really really honored and respected God's design because you see when you take the liquid redox you are allowing your body its own intelligence because the redox is just a tool it's just the signaling for your cells your cells your body is designed to heal itself and this is what helps the body to continue to heal itself and so when you take the liquid your body knows knows exactly where it needs to send the redox, what part of your body is wounded, what part of your body isn't so stable. And so it sends the redox to that particular area so the cells in that area can start to communicate to get that particular area of the body back to where it needs to be. Now, of course, with this redox gel, you are able to direct the gel wherever you want it to go. So today I woke up and had a little bit of a creak in my neck. So I took the redox gel and I rubbed it on the back of my neck three times within five minutes. I personally, in my experience, automatically started to feel relief. You can also use this as a beauty supplement too. I've been using the gel on my thighs and on my boobs. Because yes, friends, I am 40 years old, and as, as the aging process does occur, the body starts to droop a little bit. And no, I've never had children, so my boobs aren't as droopy as they could be if I had used them to feed a child, but they still are. You know, I got boobs, and they, 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 they are, they're starting to sink a little bit. I also have stretch marks on my boobs that I've had my whole life because, you know, they grew at some point when I was a child. So I've been taking the gel and putting them on my chest. And not only have I noticed a difference, but my boyfriend has also noticed a different difference as well. My boyfriend has been putting the gel on his head. As he is in his 50s now, he has started to notice thinning of the hair, as most men do around that age in their lives. And he is starting to grow his hair back which is quite incredible. In fact, I find myself now when I walk past him putting my hand in his hair just to feel all the hair that's growing back on his head. You see, my friends, your body doesn't want to fail you. It wants to keep you going. It wants to keep you healthy. That is how God designed it. And this product is basically the controllers of this world's worst nightmare. Now, once again, I can't make any medical claims because this product is just a supplement. But from everything I have researched about this product, from all of the people using this product, you really can't go wrong with this product. And because this product uses the intelligence of your body, each individual person is going to start to notice different things occurring with this product. If you are interested in learning more about this product or purchasing this product or even becoming a part of the business of ASEA, please text Bryce Info to 321-216-8047. Again, that's Bryce Info to 321-216-8047 and J or Hillis will get back to you as soon as possible. If you are texting from a country outside of the United States, please make sure that you add plus one. 321-216-8047 plus one is our country code. And in your text, 
on top of texting Bryce info, just make sure you let Jay or Hillis know that you are texting from a country outside the United States so they can arrange a call with you on WhatsApp or Signal or Zoom, any application that's not going to charge you. With that being said, another amazing thing about the SEA company is that they do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if this product doesn't work for you or isn't what you expected after the first 30 days, they will refund you. All right, back to our show. All right, you guys, Supplementary Emerald Tablet 15, The Secrets of Secrets, the grand finale. Now ye assemble my children waiting to hear the secret of secrets, which shall give ye power to unfold the God-man, give ye the way to eternal life. Plainly shall I speak the unveiled mysteries, no dark saying shall I give unto thee. Open thine ears now, my children, hear and obey the words that I give. First I shall speak of the fetters of darkness, which bind ye in chains to the spear of the earth. Darkness and light are both of one nature, the law of one, the power of one, different only in seeming. For each arose from the source of all. Darkness is disorder. Light is order. Darkness transmuted is light of the light. This, my children, your purpose and being, transmutation, transmutation of darkness to light. You came here to be the alchemist. Hear ye now of the mysteries of nature, the relations of life to earth where it dwells. Know ye ye are threefold in nature, physical, astral, and mental in one. Three are the qualities of each of the natures, nine in all as above, so below. In the physical, there are these channels, the blood which moves in vertical motion, reacting on the heart to continue its beating. Magnetism, which moves through the nerve path, carriers of energies to all cells and tissues. Akasa, which flows through the channels, subtle yet physical, completing the channels. Each of the three attuned with each other, each affecting the life of the body. From there, they are shalectal framework through which the subtle ether flows. In their mastery lies the secrets of life in the body, relinquished only by the will of the adept when his purpose of living is done. The Shiva and the Shakti. The blood, the sacred blood, your sacred DNA, is the literal expression of the soul in nature. Why do you think people like blood so much? Three are the natures of the astral. Mediator is between above and below, not of the physical, not of the spiritual, but able to move above and below. Three are the natures of mind, carry it of the will of the great one, arbitrator of cause and effect in their life. Thus is formed the threefold being, directed from above by the power of four. Above and beyond man's threefold nature lies the, re the real of the spiritual self. Four is in its qualities, shining in each of the planes of existence. But 13 and 1, the mystical number, based on the qualities of man, are the brothers. Each shall direct the unfoldment of being. Each shall channels be of the great one. On earth, man is in bondage, bound by space and time to the earth's plane. Encircling each planet, a wave of vibration binds him to this plane of unfoldment. Yet within man is the key to releasement. Within man may freedom be found. When ye have released the self from the body, rise to the outermost bounds of your earth plane. Speak ye the, the words, Duriella, then for a time your light will be lifted. Free may ye pass to the barriers of space. For a time of half the sun, six hours, Free may ye pass the barriers of the earth plane. See and know those who are beyond thee. Yea, to the highest worlds may ye pass. See your own possible height of unfoldment. Know all earthly futures of soul. Bound are ye in your body, but by the power ye may be free. This is the secret whereby bondage shall we be replaced by the freedom for thee. Calm let thy mind be. At rest be thy body. Conscious only of freedom from flesh, center thy being 
on the goal of thy longing. Think over and over that thou wants to be free. Think of the word, laungla, over and over in my mind, let it sound. Drift with the sounds to the place of thy longing, free from the bondage of flesh by thy will. Hear ye while I give the greatest of secrets, how ye may enter the halls of Amente, enter the place of the immortals, as I did. Stand before the lords in their places. Lie ye down and rest of thy body, calm thy mind, so no thought disturbs thee. Pure must ye be in the mind and in purpose, else only failure will come unto thee. Vision Amente, as I have told in my tablets. Long with fullness of heart to be there. Stand before the lords in thy mind. Pronounce the words of power I give thee mentally. And I am going to put these words on the screen, not say them because I do believe in the power of this. So I'm not going to say them on YouTube. I'm just going to put them on the screen. Relax thy mind and thy body. Then be sure your soul will be called. Now I give the key to Shambhala. The place where my brothers live in darkness, darkness but filled with the light of the sun, darkness of earth, the light of the spirit. Guides for ye when my day is done. Leave thou thy body as I have taught thee. Pass to the barriers of the deep hidden place. Stand before the gates and their guardians. Command thy entrance by these words. I am the light. In me is no darkness. Free am I of the bondage of night. Open thou the way of the twelve and one, so I may pass to the realm of wisdom. When they refuse thee, as surely they will, command them to open by these words of power. I am the light. For me are no barriers. Open, I command, by the secret of secrets. Then if thy words have been truth of the highest, open for thee, the barriers will fall. Now I leave thee, my children, down yet up to the halls I shall go. When ye the way to me, my children, truly my brothers shall ye become. Thus finish I my writings, keys. Let them be to those who come after, but only to those who seek my wisdom. For only these am I the key and the way. Mm -hmm.